tension is rising in the Gambia. The inauguration of President-elect Adama Barrow is less than two days away, and incumbent President Yahya Jami remains steadfast in his refusal to step down. A senior Nigerian military official says Nigeria and other West African countries are preparing a joint force to intervene militarily if Mr. Jame does not relinquish power to opposition leader Adama Barrow. Meanwhile, Gambia's ministers of finance, foreign affairs, trade and the environment have all resigned. Their departures follows last week's resignation of the communications minister. Hundreds of Gambian citizens have fled to Senegal since the election to avoid any political unrest. Jame, in power since the 1994 coup, has become isolated at home and abroad after he refused to accept his election defeat in December. Now, for more perspective on the political situation in Gambia, Tamsir Jassi joins me live via Skype from Atlanta, Georgia. He's the founder of the Gambia Association for Peace and Reconciliation. Tamsir, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you for having me, Victor. Now, we're really very close to this day. Uh, from your take uh, of things uh, in that part of the region, what are we likely to witness by Thursday morning? Uh, one thing that's certain is that there's going to be an inauguration of Mr. Barras, President of the Republic of the Gambia, and Mr. Jame will be stepping down. Exactly that's how going to play that. Exactly how that is going to play out, um, I can't tell for sure. But mm -hmm. military action from the ECOWAS region, um, it's a possibility. Or Mr. Jame can avoid all that <clears throat> by simply stepping down and handing over. Um, the ball is in his court. Um, it's for him to decide what he wants to do. Now, we've seen a number of cabinet members uh, resign. Uh, I don't know how many they are in total, but uh, is this a good sign that uh, the, his government, his inner circle, is crumbling? Um, obviously not a good sign at all, especially when you're a member of that government. Um, it shows clearly that these people have the interests of the government people at heart, um, and this is the right time to express that interest by stepping away from Mr. Jami, letting him understand that he's alone in this fight, and the Gambian people have decided, and they want to move on. And the best he can do is just step aside. Now, we know last time, in about a week ago or two, he threatened that he will defend his country with his military force. Uh, do you see Gambian military putting up a fight against ECOWAS? Highly unlikely. The best part of the military, my understanding, is that they will not side with Mr. Jami on this matter. Um, as a matter of fact, he will be surprised that when the ECOWAS forces finally set foot on Gambian soil, a good part of the Gambian military will join the ECOWAS forces to flush out whoever else is with Mr. Jami, including Mr. Jami himself. Now, from uh, you know, your, your personal um, uh, kind of assessment of things, what is the best way out for Mr. Jami come Thursday or even before then? Pick up the phone, call, pick up the phone right now, call the chairwoman of ECOWAS, um, president of Liberia, and just let them know that he's ready to hand over peacefully. That's the best way. Yeah. Otherwise, there is no way out for him. Yes. Now, uh, and then uh, we, we look at Mr. J uh, Adama Barrow. He's right now in the neighboring country, uh, Senegal. How do you see him coming back on that day? Do, do, you, do, you, do you have any clue as to what is the plan? I strongly believe that ECOWAS is a responsible organization, responsible enough to make sure that when they bring back Mr. Barrow into the Gambia as president, that the ground is secure. How they're going to go about doing that, I don't know for sure. But I can assure you, ECOWAS will not be that foolish to venture into the Gambia with Mr. Barrow and the ground is secure. Well, thanks a lot for your perspectives, and we look forward to, talk to you, talking to you again on this program. Thompson. Thank you. Well, Tamsi Jassi is the founder of the Gambian Association for Peace and Reconciliation.